Okay guys, so we have the 4000 watt generator. This is a Predator. This is what we pulled from our storage. We went ahead and got it out. We will be using this. Um, we do have a air conditioning unit that we just purchased today. This is going to be going into the... Uh, well, the air conditioning unit is going to be going inside the trailer. So i got to assemble this thing because I've never done that yet. Bunny hiding box. That's a, war that's a warranty box there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you. I gotta find the instruction packet. Alright, so here we go. You must run 15 20 minutes every three months. Add fuel stabilizer, clean air filter regularly, or avoid warranty. We do have a three year warranty on this. There's an on and off switch for the fuel. Alright, fill gas here, add fuel stabilizer, then not overfill, 10W30 engine oil. So we got some small, that's the only instructional thing I got. I got no warranty instructional manual with this. Where's the hidden? There it is. Instructions. I like instructions. So why break out the generator now? Well, it's not bad right now. As you see, there it is. Looks like some storm clouds may be coming in. We're going to have to start using an air conditioning unit. It's getting really, really warm inside here. I mean, we backed up as much shaded area as possible. But I'm afraid our solar is just not up to the job to be running... Um, an air conditioning unit right now. We'll be I will be running some tests to see if our solo will push this, but I'm not quite sure if it will or not. Now it's only a 5000 BTU. It is possible. I'll have to check it out and really make sure to see if it can uh, pull this or not, but we're going to test this out. have the air condition running off our solar banks but we have no solar coming in so taking a look we're down at 127 but it is working that is cold air so yeah we're at 12.7. It's still running and it's blowing cold air. Right? You might hear the TV in the background. This, our uh, solar runs our uh, stereo and all that other stuff. The inverter has not kicked on. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome, actually. I'm liking this. This is cold air. It's on the highest setting. It's been running for about 10 minutes right now. And it's still cold air. And we've got hardly any sun at all yeah I've got to organize all that propane we just went and got some more propane so I got to work on that but yeah, everything's just jumbled up right now because I'm working 12 7 
12.6, So, interesting, interesting. We've got 500, roughly 500 amp hours of battery capacity. We've got 500 watts, except for that one damaged panel. So let's just say 475 watts on the top. I need to amp out and watt out how much power that AC unit is running. But if I can run that AC unit during the day off solar, that's going to be great. We're going to do some more testing. I might be uh, running some fuel stabilizer through the generator and putting that sucker back in storage. But then again, well, we might keep it out because summertime, it gets hot at night. And of course, an air conditioned unit will definitely drain a battery system at night. So, testing out some things, guys. Just what we do, right? Always testing things out. I just try to let you know what we're running into, what's working, what's not working. So this is a testing phase. We'll find out how well this works in a couple days. Right now, I've got to figure out how big of a hole i got to cut in that back door. i got to make a mount so that we can still use the door and open it up. So those are some heavy duty hinges, so it'll, it'll support. The door hinge will support the weight of the AC unit. But I got to make a platform and bracket so that the AC unit doesn't tear out the door. So I got to do that. Um, good things. Good things. Luckily, I got the time off right now where I can actually do these things. So I need to make sure I got a system in place where I can definitely shut and seal that back up before we get on the road with the trailer. So, yeah. All right, guys, you take care. Okay, so it is installed in the back door. Uh, tomorrow I'll be running tests to make sure that the solar is able to uh, push the AC unit. But we know that the, gener uh, yeah, the generator works just fine. Tomorrow is supposed to be pretty warm, so there will be plenty of sunlight. So we'll see if our solar system can run this.